friends, today Angel and myself will be sharing a story with you called Tell Me More About Ramadan, written by Bashar Harum and illustrated by Tanya Varsalia. Allah, Arabic word for God. Adhan, the call for prayer. Dua, asking Allah for blessings upon yourself and others. Iftar, evening meal. Insha'Allah, if Allah wills. Quran, the holy book of Islam. Masjid, Arabic word for mosque. Mubarak, blessed. Salat, the prayer of Muslims performed five times a day. Suhoor, the meal before dawn. In the middle of the night, Layla hears a sound coming from the kitchen. Rubbing her eyes, she gets out of bed and goes downstairs to see what is happening. Layla finds her family seated at the dining table, having a meal. A meal? At this time? Layla wonders. The sun is up and so is Layla. Mom, I'm hungry, yells Layla. Breakfast is on the table, Mom replies. Layla runs downstairs, sits at the table, and waits for her family. Nobody's having breakfast? Layla is surprised. In the evening, Layla is pleased to see the whole family at home. Her grandparents, aunt, uncle, and cousins, almost everyone is there. Layla is very happy. She loves being surrounded by family. But what could be the occasion? Layla asks herself. As the sun goes down, the kitchen gets crowded. Everyone is giving a hand, preparing the meal, and setting the table. Collaboration and family spirit are at their most. Layla would love this great atmosphere every day. The table is ready and everyone is seated. However, no one is eating. The whole family is waiting. Suddenly, Layla hears the adhan being called out from the masjid nearby. After breaking the fast and saying the iftar's dua, everyone begins to eat in silence. Layla observes everything without making a sound. When the meal is over, some go to the masjid to pray and others pray at home. The atmosphere is peaceful and comforting. Layla is very happy, yet she really wants to know what the occasion is. Later that night, Layla goes to see her father. Dad, is today a special day? Layla questions. Oh, Layla, it's the first day of the holy month of Ramadan. I'm sorry we didn't tell you. Now, since you're a big girl, let me tell you more, says Dad. During this month, we don't eat or drink from dawn or to sunset, Dad explains. Layla remembers what she saw earlier that day. So that's why I saw you have a meal in the middle of the night, shouts Layla. Yes, that's right. It's the Sahur, the meal before dawn. Clever girl! But you know, Layla, Ramadan is not just about staying away from food and drink. It's a month of mercy where the doors of paradise are open. So we increase prayers, salat, and the recitation of the Quran. Do you know the Quran was sent down during Ramadan? Dad asked Layla. That's interesting. I didn't know that, Dad, says Layla. Dad, tell me more about Ramadan, requests Layla. Ramadan is also a month for good deeds, a month that reminds and teaches us to be forgiving, loving, caring, and generous. I understand. So we are trained to be good during Ramadan so that we can continue to be good every day. Layla adds, That's right, Layla. Dad agrees and continues. During this month, we give charity as well. We help the needy and provide them with good food and many other things that they may need. When you give to those in need, you will be rewarded by Allah. Dad, can I give some of my toys to the children in need? Asks Layla. That's a great idea, Layla. I'm very proud of you, says Dad. Dad, I still don't understand. 
Why do we not eat and drink during Ramadan? When we don't eat and drink, we understand what it is like to be hungry. So, we must always be thankful to Allah for what he has given us, not waste food, and remember those who don't have much to eat. Ramadan is super cool. Dad, can I fast too? Leila asks. Yes, you can try tomorrow. I'll wake you up for the meal before dawn, inshallah. Now, you better get to sleep early, Dad advises. Yes, I will. Ramadan Mubarak, Dad, says Leila, very excited. Ramadan Mubarak, sweetheart. The end. Thank you for joining us for today's read aloud with Angel and myself. <laughs>